Hey guys, I'm LB, and, uh, excuse me, whoa, that was weird, the game froze. That's, that's never happened before, but anyway, this is The Caverns by Skyferret. This map is a blend of underground caverns and test chambers combined together, a little above average in length. Easy to medium difficulty. Note, there will be a 2 to 3 second lag at the start. Oh, okay, that explains it. <laughs> this is because I've added an entity that triggers a fix for the rock textures. Actually, Val fixed that already. Also, if the player dies, then respawns, the same delay will occur. This will not affect the gameplay with this message, blah 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 blah. Yeah, so, the, the glowing rocks were actually patched a while back. The, after being After being broken for years, Valve actually patched Portal 2 out of the blue to fix that issue. <laughs> so yeah, that, whatever you did is no longer necessary, but let's get started, shall we? Interesting. Guess we're not going into here. Oh yes, I would certainly love to just hop on down the murder hole. That, if this wasn't a game where you had long fall boots, this would just... Actually, this is terrifying. Like, you could- you could hit the lights on the way down if you're not careful, and... who knows where it- where it lands? <laughs> this is- this is terrifying! <laughs> careful. That is frightening, man. Plus, that'll set off a lot of people's claustrophobia. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't really have claustrophobia, but still, it's terrifying. Didn't land in the water, good. Where did that... How does the geometry of this work out? Where did that door lead, if- if this is what's out here? Is that a tiny, tiny chest chamber? I need to take a look at this. Oh, there- okay. So there is room for a test chamber here, I suppose. That makes sense. Oh, I touched the ugly water. Oh well. I was trying to avoid that. Plant life. That's not something you normally see down here. So there's a portal up there, right? Okay, what? What? That is totally a portal surface. You can't tell me that's not a portal surface. It's totally a portal surface in the main game. Oh well, whatever. That's a portal surface. Why is that not a portal surface? Let's see if we can get up here at all. Oh yeah, we can. And then we do the same thing there, right? That seems like it. And... Now what? I guess we have... double height? Yeah? Why would we want that, though? Something over here missing? Ah, thank you for the arrow! That's a very helpful arrow. So I'm guessing we're gonna want to hit that button in midair, right? Those are totally portal surfaces. You can't tell me they're not. All right. Here goes nothing. There we go. Okay, what am I even trying to do? Where am I supposed to get gel at? I'm a, I'm a bit unclear on the concept. Uh. 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 Why did I do that? What was I supposed to do? Oh, I was I supposed to launch it out of there? Crap. Well, at least we can portal up there easily enough. Alright, let's try this again. Now that I know what to do, sort of. There we go, that should work. Geronimo. Perfect. We don't need more gel, because I think- I think that's enough for now. Look at that! Totally portable surfaces. But I think the reason we can't is because then we'd be able to easily see that. Although that wall could just be extended a bit, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. What do we have through here? Let me guess, more caverns? More caverns! Called it. Why is there Cuban button-based testing in the caverns? 
This is cool. This kind of reminds me of Skinner Somber a little bit. Then again, I haven't played very many games where you go into caves. Or seen, rather. I've not played Skinner Somber, I've just seen it. Wait, so that's already active. And then pressing it will deactivate it. Okay, that's- that's a weird way to do things, but sure. Oh, hello. Did not even notice that. Hmm. Did I want to do that? What have I accomplished? What's my prize? What's my reward? Can't portal on that. Uh, I think I see what I was supposed to do. Right. This makes sense now. Alright. Let's try this again, shall we? And... hmm. See, the problem is, as soon as I get the cube off of that button, this fizzler turns on. So I think I would just want to swap the cubes, right? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I'd rather put this cube on here, and this cube can just go be wherever, I suppose. Doesn't really matter too much. Oh, I should've, uh, yeah. I should've put the portal first. That would make sense. Uh... Really. So it's gonna do that every time I load a quick save. So in addition- in addition to the incredibly long load times that Valve for some reason has not done anything about, it's also gonna have the maps fixed for the thing that Valve already fixed have. <laughs> oh man. Okay. We'll just try to avoid loading quick saves then. Oh, I should not have done this. Let's pretend I didn't hop in the funnel. <laughs> Give me this cube. I don't think we can take the other one with us. Actually... I know, I know, we're trying to avoid loading quick saves because of the lag, but whatever. Whatever. I can take it. <laughs> Oh, man. Alright, so, I have an alternative strategy. So, first, do uh, this and this. We send this cube down there. We put the portal there. Now we have both cubes. Ah, yeah. You're kidding me. Oh, good, it was the cube that... Okay. Okay! <laughs> I thought I had to load the game again. Alright, so, what are we gonna do with these cubes? Something did something... the funnel, right? Yeah. Um... Oh, I guess I have to put a cube on there. There we go. And then I can take one of the cubes with me. Like so. Oh, okay. Not much to see out here, I guess. Oh, okay. Bye-bye, cube. Thanks for being with us. Avoid getting my shoes wet. I don't think I can, can I? Alright, let's just- let's just jump for it and hope for the best. Nope, nope, can't- can't avoid getting the shoes wet, unfortunately. Ah, well. That changes the funnel polarity. That turns off the fizzler. 
spawns a cube which gets launched by a faceplate... ...almost into the funnel. Is that supposed to go into the funnel? Oh, that was startling! Apparently you can fizzle it inside the dropper? <laughs> Look at that, you can fizzle it inside the dropper. <laughs> I'm glad Skyfert scripted it properly. Because, uh, that's- that's alarming that that's even possible. Alright, now what? Reverse it? Right, that should be sufficient, I believe. Actually, I think I'm gonna be over there first. That's why these buttons are lined up like this. There we go. Then we do that. And then I can shoot a portal... there. I can head up there myself. Don't think I can take the cube with me. That's fine, though. Doesn't look like we need to. up there if we want. This place is to get our shoes wet. Spawn this cube first. That- that sounds like a good idea. What does this button do? Temporarily... makes the funnel go forward? Okay. Hmm... interesting. That's an alternative means of getting up here. Alright, so now I believe... Theoretically... that do for us? Oh. Goodbye, cube! <laughs> Interesting. What do we have through here? Seems we're out of the caves, finally, back into some more modern stuff. Could you imagine, like, employees having to travel through caves, solving these puzzles, to get to and from work. Horribly inefficient. Probably not what actually happens. This is- is this a Skyfert faceplate? Yep, that's a Skyfert faceplate, so Skyfert's faceplates are orange when they're active, and blue when they're inactive. Cause Skyfert's weird like that. And technically it's Valve that got it backwards in the main game, but uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> Interesting. Well, that's, that's, I guess let's do this with the cube first, right? Alright, oh, that- that would happen, wouldn't it? Alright, well then let's put the cube on a portal surface, instead. There we go, that should work. Now let's do it with ourselves. Whoa, I went through the bars in the ceiling. Is that supposed to happen? <laughs> yeah, so now we can do it with the cube, I believe. We just have to have good timing here. Oh right, not like that though. Not like that though. Well, let's try this again. <laughs> That's too fast. We need to juggle it in the air for a moment. That's why the faceplate launches us so high. We can just- just do this outright like this, right? Yeah, we can just do that outright. It's so funny that it goes this- makes us go so high that we get our head in the ceiling. Alright, let's try this again here. Uh, 
Um, how did it end up there? What? Am I missing something here? I bet it hit the ceiling because I didn't- Okay, I need to put it on this side then, because this side's got clear air above it. I bet it hit the ceiling, and because of Valve's dumb physics, it bounced over here. Curse you, Valve. I'm still not happy about what happened in that livestream. Alright, let's try this again. There we go. Wow, that actually bounced in a weird way. Huh. Alright, so now, we can do that with the base plate, I believe. We should be good to go. Hmm, let's take the key with us, for good measure. Save and continue. Uh, okay, I'll take both of you with me. Kind of. Uh, are you gonna be able to go through the fizzler, my friend? Or is that gonna be a problem for ya? Yeah, I thought so. Alright, well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!